Yeah, it's one day. Heading to the doctor. Benjamin is driving. In our fancy car. Clean car. Clean car. Yay, clean car. Got a question for you, Ben. Hmm. How do you feel about kids your age? Because, you know, those are almost all the kids that are... I call them kids because I have that right. Because they are, to me. That are on... YouTube. Doing vlogs. Daily vlogs and other types of vlogs. Or, you know, just those one-hit wonders. And what do you think about these kids who, you know, you know how I feel about kids and how I feel about you when, te when you're texting me and you can't even say words correctly. Excuse me, I spell words. Um, we're going straight, remember. Oh, now, you know, I, I have so enough... So going down the garbage bag? Yeah. Oh, okay. And I have enough trouble when you can't say, you know, we're saying LOL. But I'm, I'm okay with that. Because you're texting. But when you're typing. Yeah, like an email. Like an email. Or even speaking. Or God, speaking. That me. And you hear somebody say, I'm just going to use this. Totes adorbs. Um, now, I, I want your opinion because me. It sounds if like I said, uh, If you said that, what would I do to you? You'd probably slap me. I would slap the shit right out of you. And now. I would probably rip my own tongue out if I ever used that. Because, what I, the fuck? What does it even mean? Okay, from my understanding, that's supposed to mean totally adorable. Now, my question is, what? Do people have like fucking retarded tongues? Yeah, I it know. sounds like you're a retard or a fucking child. Like a little girl or Totes a little adorbs. kid trying to... Uh, Totes adorbs. Yeah, you sound like you're a little kid trying to say... A word you can't really say. I want to know how you really honestly feel about your... Ge this is your generation, child. I'm terrified that, for the future of our country and our world because they can't spell and they want to say garbage. Gibberish. It's embarrassing and humiliating to people like me who are actually intelligent, can spell and speak and write an actual letter. I get curious when I hear people. Now, these some of these people actually have children. God help us all. And and that's what they say. Now, do you think they're saying it because they think they're funny? And do they? Do you think they understand how stupid they sound? Stupid they sound. To say, I mean, and I'm thinking, you know, I, I try not to say it. I try not to comment. Oh, dear God, do you know how stupid you sound? Because, okay, these are 20 plus, you know, 20 to 25, 26, 27 year olds who are can possibly see me as, uh, you know, old. And I'm only 43. So I have to sit back and I look at you, my son, my wonderful son, and I say... Dear God, what does my son think of this? And and I hear you; those words come out of your mouth. You know what you just said, and I think you're never getting married. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Mm. I don't think my son's ever going to get married. I think if a girl ever said "totes adore," was a, I'd tell her to get the fuck out in front of you. You'd stare at her and go, "Uh." What the have you lost your mind? Do, I can't communicate is that with supposed half the to be people, cute? I can't communicate with half the people around my age because they say shit and I'm like, what the fuck did you just say? Seriously, what did you just say? Because whatever it is, sound like another language or complete and total gibberish. Well, Shut and I, the hell up. I try to read some of the comments. Oh God, I don't even, I don't even bother reading comments. They're, they just give me a headache because I can't I can't decipher what they're saying. And, and they're spelling everything so bad. And well, is this all from you know Ben? I believe when you were in school. 
When you were in school, there was that thing called No Child Left Behind. And you know how I was. I, I came into school like a I mother bear. Yeah. And I was a shy mom. I was a shy person. But once I had my children and I realized there was one person between my, the, my children and the world, and that was me. And once they found that they start, once you hit second grade and they started saying, oh, he's got ADD, he's got ADHD, you know, he's got dyslexia, he's got rage, he's got, and they started saying all these things. And I thought, well, I know he's got some things going on, but I don't think it's all of that. And they said, well, you need to pay more attention. And I thought, excuse me, I am with my son 24 seven. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, I am with my son. Don't tell me about my son. That's when I realized, holy crap, I better be with my son all the time. And then they made those appointments. They had the right to make an appointment with you for, with, for you with a doctor that I knew was going to push pills. And in the 80s, I mean in the 90s, they could actually... That's what the deal became, was pushing pills on children. Ritalin and, and, and so no child left behind became a way for teachers to get lazy and, and, and of course kids didn't flunk. Teachers got lazy. They pretended to teach and then they just pushed you through. And parents went, oh, yay. My child has an IEP, the Individual Educational Program, and he's learning something and... Because that's what they said he's learning and yay and... You know, all's well. Well, no, it's all very, wasn't well. Well, yeah, one of and the now, greatest... And now... A good example now people are finding, about the... Now people are finding out things all aren't well. Because I am looking on YouTube and kids cannot spell. Child. Or speak. And, and you hear... Like them on their YouTube channels, and they can't speak. And now you hear this totes and orbs, and Ugh. and I hear all this stuff, and I have to look at you and go, "Oh dear God!" I want to drive, every time I hear that. I want to drive red hot iron in my own ears. It's just grating on my. Oh. And I I am just absolutely crazy. astounded that parents must have just ignored their children a lot. And it's no yeah. wonder teachers saw me as a cast iron bitch, as a thorn, thorn in their side. And it's no wonder that I scared principals. <laughs> Not just principals, superintendents. It's, it's no wonder I scared them. I didn't let up. I did not let up until I knew you knew you were actually passing and that you knew how to spell and you knew how to add and you knew how to subtract and... Yeah, and it's like I can I oh I God. botch spelling all the time and go, yep, I botched that. I'm gonna have to look it up. It's like if I don't know how to spell, I don't just get close yes, and but leave now it. Now I know why. <laughs> I don't just get close and leave <laughs> it. I go to Google. I use my freaking smartphone to look shit Pretty up and go, oh, so that's how you spell that word. Well, I was kind of close. I'll just rearrange it. I don't go, eh, it's close enough, and post to whatever or text to whoever, or write an email to whoever, or even send notes. I don't even handwrite notes to my teachers if I can't spell. And if I miss a word and I can't look it up, I'll write in the margin saying, I probably misspelled that word. <sighs> I've actually had several teachers well, laugh, laugh I'm their glad I asked. Ass. That's been bugging me. I've actually okay. had several of my We're teachers. We're at the doctors. Let's go in. Let's see what they say about my hands. Teachers laugh about me putting notes in the margins about not being able to spell certain words that I know I misspelled and couldn't look it up.